Circus Practice, written by Kathleen Warren. Come on, everyone, called Sam. The big red car is waiting to take us to the circus. So we can practice our acts for the show this afternoon. Look, laughed Anthony, as the big red car drew close to the circus tent. There's the big top. It looks huge. And there's Dorothy outside the tent waving to us, said Murray. Hi, Dorothy. The big red car parked safely in the circus car park, where they were met by the ringmaster of the circus. Hello, Wiggles, he smiled. Welcome to the circus. As the Wiggles and Dorothy followed the ringmaster, they saw Wags and Captain Feathersword practicing handstands and somersaults. Good work! <laughs> Laughed the ringmaster. Our audiences will enjoy that. There's Henry! Laughed Sam. Henry the octopus was concentrating on spinning some plates. He tried to wave to his friends, but the plates crashed to the floor. Oh dear! Some clowns were practicing their act. I'd like to be a clown, said Jeff. I could be the clown who keeps falling asleep. <laughs> Sounds perfect, laughed one of the clowns. <laughs> Come on, Jeff! I've always wanted to ride a unicycle, said Anthony. There, right over there, said the ringmaster. Off you go! And Anthony hopped on a unicycle and wobbled around the ring. I can play my guitar, said Murray, and I can juggle a bit, although I can't do both at the same time. <laughs> That's a pity, laughed the ringmaster. Never mind, I'll introduce you to the other jugglers. Maybe I could be a strong man, offered Sam. I'm tall and I'm strong and I'd like to try. The ringmaster handed Sam a heavy weight. Try this, he said, and Sam lifted it high above his head with the greatest of ease. Just then, the telephone rang and the ringmaster answered it. He looked worried. Oh dear, he said, that does sound bad. I think you should tuck into bed until you get better. The tightrope walker is sick, he explained, showing Sam and Dorothy a circus poster featuring a picture of the tightrope walker. So she won't be able to walk the tightrope this afternoon. Could I try? Dorothy asked eagerly. I am sure I could do it. I'd hold a parasol in one hand and a fan in another. And then all I have to do is walk. <laughs> she giggled. I can do that. The ringmaster shook his head. I'm afraid not, Dorothy. The tightrope is stretched high above the circus ring. I'll show you. Sam and Dorothy followed him into the big top and saw that it was indeed very high. I've got an idea, said Sam. Suppose we use a narrow board instead of a tight rope and we put it lower down, like this. And Sam found a narrow plank and balanced it on coloured tubs. Try it, Dorothy, said the ringmaster. 
handing her a real parasol and fan. Dorothy walked along the narrow board as if she'd been a tightrope walker all her life. I could do a little dance as well, offered Dorothy. I'll show you. And this time, she danced along the narrow board. Everyone clapped. <laughs> Dorothy, you've saved the day, laughed the ringmaster. Has anyone seen Anthony? asked one of the cyclists. He was practicing with us and now we can't find him. I'm here, admitted a red-faced Anthony. I just had to try some of this delicious, hot, poppin' popcorn. We seem to have lost Jeff too, said one of the clowns. The other Wiggles laughed. <laughs> There's only one way to find him, they chorused. Ready, everybody? One, two, three. Wake up, Jeff! And a sleepy-eyed Jeff came from behind a stack of cushions. I'll need you to try on some of the tightrope walker's costumes the wardrobe mistress explained to Dorothy. But it didn't take long to discover none of those costumes would fit. I have lots of pretty dancing dresses in my costume box at home, said Dorothy. Sam will drive me and I'll bring a few back for you to choose from. In no time at all, Dorothy was back with three of her prettiest dancing dresses. The perfect! exclaimed the wardrobe mistress. You can wear one in the first half, one after interval, and one in the grand finale. Time for lunch! The audience will be arriving soon. I'll need lots of energy, Anthony told the others. I'll have zucchini, fish and salmon cakes and a bowl of fruit salad for dessert. The audience streamed into the big top. Everything was in place. The band struck up a rousing tune and the ringmaster blew his whistle. Look, it's Anthony! The Wiggles and their friends were the stars of the circus. But the audience clapped their hardest for Dorothy the Narrow Plank Walker. Everybody loosen up. Let's get ready to wiggle.